OpenAI, Perplexity, and Google. These companies are currently building and selling AI agents based on their models. But there is a big problem here. Every day, more and more companies are preventing these AI bots from accessing their content. Some of these companies are blocking the IP addresses that host these AI models, and other companies are blocking them by using CAPTCHA challenges that the bots cannot solve, or even checking the browser signature of these bots to block anything that doesn't look human. I'm sure you've seen Operator from ChatGPT Pro subscription. This is an AI agent that can open a browser and basically perform tasks for you. It's pretty cool, except that many websites are now blocking it. Here is an example where the agent can even use Amazon.com. The website doesn't even open. And here is another example where I'm trying to list the most popular posts on Reddit and we get a message saying that we've been blocked by network security. This is not gonna get better anytime soon. In fact, I think that more websites will join the list of the companies that are blocking anything that looks like AI. And this is a huge problem for anyone who's building AI that needs access to real-time data. So here is the trick. I'm gonna show you how you can write a little bit of code to avoid any capture challenges and any other sort of blocking. I'm partnering with Bright Data and they gave me access to their scraping browser functionality and boy, I should tell you, it's super cool. Just a tiny bit of code and we can immediately solve the problem. So with this code, we will completely avoid any sort of IP blockages. The tool, the fingerprint that the website will see from the tool will look like a real user, not like an AI bot. And because of that, the CAPTCHA challenge will almost never trigger. But if it does, the tool knows how to automatically solve it, which is amazing. So let me show you this. I already created an account on Bryce Data's website site so I can go to the user dashboard and click on proxies and scraping. Notice this zone here. The type is scraping browser. That is the one that we need. Now you can go inside and configure it but the most important part is that we can try the live playground. The live playground is awesome because you can try your test live. You can see how it works. Now the default example here scrapes some data from bookings.com, but just for testing purposes, I want to change the URL and point the browser to amazon.com. If we run the script, you can see the browser on the right side and how Amazon presents a capture challenge to the tool but scraping browser solves it very easily. And finally, we get to the Amazon homepage. ChatGPT couldn't get through, operator could not do it, but scraping browser has no issues with it. Now, if you go to the code example section, you'll see different examples of things that you can do once you connect to a site. You can also choose a different programming language. Like, for example, here is the code with Python and Playwright. The beauty of this is that you can use this source code and use it to build your AI agent, search, or any application that requires public web real-time data. Remember, this is not gonna get better anytime soon. More and more websites will continue blocking ChatGPT, Operator, and anything that looks like AI. Websites that work right now might stop working tomorrow. So don't fight this. That's pointless when you have a tool like Scraping Browser that will ensure that public web data remains accessible. So I'm gonna stop the video here. Stay awesome, keep building good things, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.